everyone, this is Nidhi from Edureka and I welcome you back to Edureka's YouTube channel. In today's exciting session, we will explore the complete backend developer roadmap. So get ready to uncover the essential tools and technologies needed to kickstart your backend development journey and excel in this field. Before we get into the details, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated on latest tech content from Edureka. Also remember to check out Edureka's website for our training and certification courses. The link is in the description box below. Now let's outline what we will cover in this video. In this video, we will start by understanding the backend development and why it's so important for building any web application. Next, we will dive into essential skills you need, including programming languages, algorithms, and data structure. From there, we will explore the key tools and technologies that form a backbone of backend development like databases, APIs, and web servers. Finally, we will wrap up with insights on certification that can boost your career. So let's dive in and explore the complete roadmap for becoming a backend developer. To begin our journey into backend development, let's start by understanding the overview of web development. Web development is divided into two parts, the frontend and the backend. The frontend is what user directly interacts with, including the client, that is user's device, and the web browser. Elements like buttons, text, and images on the websites are present in the frontend part. Then we have the backend. The backend handles behind the scenes task to ensure that the website functions smoothly. It starts with web server which processes user requests and sends them to the business logic layer. This layer executes operation, processes the data and interacts with the databases when needed before sending the response back to the browser. In summary, the frontend focuses on user experience while the backend ensures the efficiency and data delivery. So now that we have understood the basic component of web development, Let's zoom in on how the backend works. It starts with the HTTP request from the client device, such as mobile phones or desktop browsers. This request reaches the web container where the processing begins. First, the REST services handles the request by determining what action is needed. Then it moves to the DAO layer, which interacts with the database efficiently. The Hibernate URL simplifies the database operation by mapping the data between the object and the database tables. Finally, the data flows to and fro from the database and the result is sent back to the HTTP response to the client device. This layered process ensures the efficient handling of request and smooth interaction between the client and the server. So now let's explore the skills and tools you need to master backend development. So one of the core skills of backend development is mastering programming language. It helps you to write the logic that powers the web application, processes the user request and manage the data efficiently. So now let's look at some of the key programming languages for backend development. First one is JavaScript. The next one we have is Python. Then we have Java. And then we have Ruby. So let's begin with the JavaScript. JavaScript is powerful versatile language widely used for backend and the frontend development. With Node.js, JavaScript extends beyond the browser and enables the server-side programming. The main concepts that we need to learn includes the first one is asynchronous programming, so mastering promises and async await to handle the non-blocking operations. The second one is server creation, that is building robust servers with frameworks like ExpressJS. Next on, we have working with JSONs and APIs, seamlessly exchange and integrate the data with third-party services. The next one is socket programming, that is developing real-time application using WebSockets. So with JavaScript and Node.js, you can seamlessly bridge the front-end and the back-end creating a full-stack application with a single programming language. So the next language that is in demand is Python. Python is beginner-friendly, versatile programming language that's ideal for back-end development. With powerful libraries and frameworks like Flask and Django, Python simplifies the building web application. The main concepts to learn in Python for back-end development are object-oriented programming, Understanding O principles to create reusable and modular code. The next one is building REST APIs with Flask or Django. The next one is database management using SQL Alchemy, efficiently integrating with databases through ORM, that is object relational mapping. And the last one is asynchronous programming for handling the congruent operations for better performance and scalability. So Python is also widely used in data-driven and machine learning applications, making it an excellent choice for backend development. So the next language that we have is Java. Java is highly stable and performant language often used in large-scale enterprise-level applications. Frameworks like Spring and Hibernate makes the backend development with Java both robust and scalable. The main concepts to focus on for backend development in Java includes 
OOP and Java collection frameworks, so mastering object-oriented programming principles and utilizing the collections of framework to manage the data structure efficiently. The next one is building APIs and Spring Boot. The next one is database integration with Hibernate. And the last one is congruency and multi-threading. So understanding how to handle multi-threads and parallel processes to build high-performance application. So that's it, Java continues to be in top choice for building scalable and secure backend development system. And the next language that we will focus on is Ruby, known for its simplicity and elegance. Ruby is widely used for building robust and scalable applications. The key concepts that we will cover is understanding the basics of object-oriented programming in Ruby, learning the concepts of method classes and modules, exploring Ruby's inbuilt libraries for efficient coding, mastering the error handling and debugging techniques. So now that we have explored the essential programming languages for backend development, it's important to emphasize that mastering at least one programming language is crucial before moving forward. So now it's time to dive in into next critical area for backend development that is data structures and algorithm. So now let's talk about why learning data structures and algorithm is vital for backend development. So the first reason is efficient data storage and retrieval. DSA helps to design the system that store and fetch the data quickly and are reliable. The second reason is optimize API performance. By applying the right algorithm, you can ensure that the APIs run efficiently even under the heavy loads. The next one is database query optimization. So understanding DSA enables you to write optimized query for faster database interaction. The next one is efficient memory management. It ensures your code uses system resources efficiently, avoiding the performance bottlenecks. And the last one is problem solving in complex backend scenarios. DSA equips you to tackle and solve intricate challenges in backend systems. So mastering these skills will not only make your backend system robust, but also prepare you to excel in coding interviews and real-world scenarios. So now that DSA is covered in our roadmap, the next step is to mastering the web frameworks. So web frameworks are basically the tools that helps the developers to build web applications more easily. They provide a structure to organize the code and save time by offering pre-built solutions for common tasks. The framework you choose depends upon the programming language you are using. Some of the popular web frameworks include Django for Python, Express for Node.js, Ruby on Rails for Ruby, Laravel for PHP and Spring for Java. These frameworks are widely used because they make development process faster and more efficient. So now let's talk about the databases, where all the app's data is stored and managed. Databases play a crucial role in storing and managing the data that powers your application. So let's start with relational databases. These organize the data into tables with rows and columns, making them perfect for structured data, for example, including MySQL, PostgreSQL, and Oracle. So if you are looking to master one, MySQL or PostgreSQL stands out due to its flexibility and advanced feature and strong community support. So now moving on to the non-relational databases, Unlike relational ones, non-relational databases are designed to handle the unstructured or semi-structured data offering a greater scalability. So the popular options here include MongoDB, CouchDB and Cassandra. If you are aiming for scalability and performance, MongoDB is a solid choice to focus on. So with the database covered, the next key step in backend development process is server management and deployment. So the first thing that you need to master on are web servers that are used to handle the incoming user request and deliver the right content for the user's browser. They ensure your website is scalable and responsive. So the popular web servers like Apache and Nginx are known for their reliability and performance. The next one is deployment. It refers to the process of making your web application accessible online. It involves setting up your application on servers or cloud platforms. AWS and Azure are widely used for their scalability, security, and reliable hosting services. Finally, containers are used to package your application with everything it needs to run consistently across different environments. Containers like Docker make deployment easier, ensure consistency, and simplify the scalability of your web application. So now that we have covered the server management and deployment, let's move on to version control systems. So version control systems are essential for tracking changes in your code over time. They allow the developers to collaborate, revert, to the previous version and manage the different version of their application efficiently. One of the most widely used version control system is Git, which enables local tracking of changes and branching for features development. To manage and share your Git repositories, platforms like GitHub, GitLab, and Bitbucket come into play. 
So with version controls covered, the next important step in backend development is testing and debugging. So let's dive into crucial step of testing and debugging for applications to ensure everything works as expected. So testing is essentially a quality check confirming that your application functions properly. There are several level of testing. The first one is unit testing that focuses on testing individual components or units of your code to ensure that they work correctly. Popular tools that are include are Jest and Mocha. The next one is integration testing which tests how the different part of your application work together. So the platforms like Postman are great for testing APIs and ensuring they interact properly. So the last one is automated testing. It uses script to automatically run the test on your application, saving the time and reducing the human effort. So Cypress and Selenium are commonly used for this purpose. So next one is debugging. So debugging on the other hand is the process of identifying and fixing errors in your code. So think of it as a troubleshooting. Useful tools for debugging includes Node.js debugger, Chrome Dev tools, and VS Code debugger. So by implementing a thorough testing and debugging process, you can ensure your application is reliable, high quality, and free from errors. So finally, let's move on to the essential aspect of backend development, that is API. So let's quickly understand how the APIs work. So in the typical API architecture, the process begins with the client, where the user interacts with the web or the mobile applications. These applications send requests to API services using HTTP methods such as get, post, put, and delete. The API service acts as an intermediary, processing the request and forwarding them to the application layer. The application layer in turn communicates with the backend, which consists of the servers that handles the business logic and databases operation. Once the backend processes the request, the response is sent back through the application layer to the API service. Finally, the API service delivers the response to the client, completing the communication cycle. This architecture ensures the smooth interaction between the different software components, making system more efficient and scalable. So basically, mastering APIs is also crucial for backend development process, so you can connect your front end to the backend. So now that we have covered the backend development roadmap, Let's talk about how Edureka certification program can help you to master the technologies involved in full stack development and take your skills to the next level. So this Edureka's full stack developers master program is a comprehensive 21 week course designed to equip you with the skills needed to build interactive and responsive web applications. The program covers the essential technologies such as HTML5, CSS3, JavaScript, ReactJS, Node.js and MongoDB providing a 360 degree understanding of both front end and the back end development led by industry experts this course offers hands on project and real world application to ensure practical learning upon completion you will receive a masters program completion certificate along with individual courses certificate validating your expertise in full stack development so in this video we have explored the back end development roadmap that will guide you building a successful career in back end development or a full stack development I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment down any of your doubts and queries. We will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka's YouTube channel to learn more. Happy learning.